Yeah, he's fighting the tyrant. This is so perfect for us. Let's try to see if his teammates are around. Let's put our gun on single shot. I think he's by himself. I think we're gonna try to take him out. We should wait for his team though. If he oh yeah, there's his team. This is perfect. There's only two of them. Yeah, now they're both fighting. Him. That was sick, dude. How's it going, everybody? My name is Metalcore, and welcome back to another official PUBG Mobile channel video. Today's video is going to be very, very much a treat because we're going to be immersing ourselves into the brand new zombie mode, Survive Till Dawn. The really cool thing about this is we are wearing the Leon outfit as well as having weapons that are part of the zombie weapon sets uh, with this Resident Evil 2 X PUBG Mobile collaboration. So let's get straight into the gameplay. All right, so the point of today's video is to solo squad with the Leon outfit in the brand new zombie mode. So that's why you guys see I'm all by myself. That means we're going to be fighting against zombies. We're going to be fighting against players all by ourselves. We're going to be trying to go after that winner winner chicken dinner. And we are landing straight into school. And we're going to try to fight the other squads that come here. So let's see how we do. All right, so let me explain something really quickly. So like I said, this is a live commentary. So we're going to be doing live gameplay for you guys basically kind of like a live stream and oh we just <laughs> we just found a combat knife so i was gonna say that i'm not gonna be fighting these zombies because i don't want to shoot and have people attract towards here the uh, school area because i don't have a squad on me so i don't want to gain any unnecessary attraction i want to be the one sneaking up onto the enemies and trying to fight them so with the new combat knife you can take out zombies pretty easily, and there's a lot of them spread around this map. Um, you, can, you can see all the shots going off now. But you can take out these zombies pretty easily. And I think I'm going to get that M16. It's, it, this got the new skin on it. It's very, very nice. But I basically am going to be trying to sneak up on these squads while they're fighting zombies and then take them out. So we're probably going to go to Razak here and take out these squads. But because there are zombies, it's going to basically help me have this weird third party to these enemies because they're gonna be fighting zombies and i'm just gonna sneak up on them and try to third party them so it's gonna be kind of cool to try to mess around and see how far we can get into the match but our goal is to try to get that uh win and let's just uh yeah it seems like there was no one at school just to give you guys an update but we'll have to see how we do against other players All right, so we're in the middle of a third party. Well, actually, we didn't even third party these guys. I just kind of snuck up on these guys. And my goal here is while these guys are fighting zombies, I'm going to be trying to sneak up and fight them and take them out. And I have a combat knife to kind of use to my advantage to be silent when I'm fighting the zombies that come to attack me and not show where my position is. So see how there's zombies coming here? I'm gonna take out my combat knife and start basically fighting them with the combat knife so that they don't know where I am. These guys kind of have a general idea, but it's kind of good to have a combat knife. It only takes two. You can see how easily it is to take out the zombies. It only takes two, uh, two knife hits to take out these zombies. But we're gonna go try to find where this other guy was at. I wasn't able to finish my other kill, but he's probably trying to revive his teammate. But the goal, the goal is to be sneaky. That's the goal, is to try to be as sneaky as possible. Since we are trying to third party these guys. Oh, I hear them. They're just across from me. This is okay, I'll let the zombie attack me. It's worth not giving away my position. 
Yeah, there they are. They're fighting. They're fighting zombies now. Chuck a nade over there. I don't know if that was a good nade or not. Kind of a bad nade. All right. While the zombies are fighting them. Now there's two guys there. Let's have that zombie distract him. That's good. It's good that the zombie distracted him. Zombie pushed him off. All right, that was the last guy on the squad. Perfect. So you guys can see how awesome the zombies are to help you out here. So now we basically just have to survive the night. And we can just take their loot. I'm going to keep the M16 because the M16 is good. But yeah, let's just survive the night. Ooh, there's ooh, there's shots in the ooh. This is perfect. All right, let's go. Let's go try to fight these guys. But yeah, this is the whole thing that we're trying to do: is the solo squad intense fights. And when we third party, third party, which means like you're coming to fight them while they're fighting other people at the same time. We are gonna be trying to look out for. Oh, they might be in here. I'm gonna try to boost up real quick. Oh my god, that scared me. I don't know if you guys saw me jump out of my seat there. All right, he's right over here with a shotgun. Let's try to figure out where he's at. I don't know where his friend's at, but his friend definitely is angry now. He was, uh, he was definitely doing an interesting strategy. You see a lot of people doing uh, weird strategies. But because he... Uh, because he exposed his position there. I'm going to expose my position a little bit. I was able to see where the shots were coming from. Suppressor for a sniper. We kind of want to get a suppressor for the AR. That's one thing that we want. I might try to loot this guy. But his friends must be really close by. Alright, let's just finish off these zombies. Okay, just want that ammo. But it's good to boost up. It's good to boost up right before the night starts so that you can slowly heal over time while the zombies, the zombies attack. There you go, perfect suppressor AR. And put that on... Oh, I hear footsteps. It's a player. All right, let's uh, let's combat knife him. Yo, zombies, get out of the way. He was looking in. Where was he looking? He was looking in this direction. Maybe his teammates over here or something. All right, so we've survived the first night, and we have the suppressor for the the M16 is mainly the suppressor that I wanted. All right, let's loot these guys. If you guys also didn't know, you can have a lot, a lot of extra ammo. You have a lot of extra backpack space, which is super cool. All right, let's put the four times on here. Let's drop all the extra stuff. We, we only need one suppressor AR, and we don't need this uh, nine mil. All right, perfect. Nothing here. Let's try to loot where this, see this is a super smart idea. But he he just exposed himself. He's got a level three backpack. This is perfect for us. And now we're gonna try not to expose ourselves too much. Get this guy. See, so it's just two hits with the knife if you hit them. And these guys left their car here, so now we've got a free car to try to find uh, go into the zone. And I think now we're gonna actually go to where the the next uh, boss zombie is, and we're gonna try to fight him right now. All right, so we are here at the Tyrant, which we're going to be trying to bait people and use people uh, to get, to try to get the loot from the Tyrant. Maybe even get the Tyrant super low so that we can easily take him out. And then, yeah, we're just going to try to bait people to get to the Tyrant. We already have five kills. We're doing pretty good. There's the Tyrant right there. We're just going to lay down and wait for people to come to try to fight him. Hopefully, people don't just sneak up behind me and get me. But... We're just going to kind of try to be sneaky. I think I'll have the M762 out just for just in case if they get close range. 
Um, if any zombies come to us, we'll just knife them so we don't expose ourselves. And I parked the vehicle kind of far away. But we can actually tell this is where the other boss was. I'm going to mark that. So if anybody fights that boss, I know that it disappears from the map because someone took him out. So we're just going to sit here and see if anybody comes to this boss. We're going to kind of cross our fingers. All right, so since it is getting dark, I'm actually going to just head over and try to third party whoever is going to be... Um, I think there's a lot of people that drop you Snaya. So we're going to try to go over there and maybe third party people while they fight zombies. It's going to be insane, so let's try to do that. All right, so these guys are shooting and fighting zombies. We're going to try to third party the zombies while this guy's shooting at the zombies. Yeah, there's multiple shots. This is perfect. They might be on the same team, so we're just going to try to get these guys. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know how I got here. Alright. Let's go get this guy over here. There's a lot of zombies on this guy. Oh, I see a shot. This is sick. Okay, check this out. You can see people's gunshots. You kind of shoot in the general area where they're at. So that's the gun flash. Oh gosh, he's, there's a lot of zombies. I forgot to boost up. Now I don't know where these gun flashes are. And I'm getting chased by a ton of zombies. Alright, I just got that guy. Oh my gosh, that was sketchy. Now we just have to try to survive here. Like I said, I wasn't able to get a pre-med out. But if I can quickly heal, I'll be good. I wish I could go back to my car real quick. Alright, hang on, hang on. Alright, hang on, let's heal real quick. There's like a little... If you kill enough zombies, there's a small time window that you have to heal up really quickly before they spawn in. So I had that small time. That was really creepy. I saw, did you guys see that? There was a can out in the road. I don't know if that was like a bait can that he was like baiting me or if I just was, I don't know. That was just really sketchy. Ooh, 416, let's get that. Oh yeah, I've got, oh yeah, I forgot. Okay, yeah, we could use the 416. I got the uh, Umbrella Corp skin for that. All right, and the 416 is my favorite gun in the game. So let's go try to find those other shots. I saw other shots, I think over near school or up ahead at this compound. So we're gonna try to fight other people. But now that there's zombies out and stuff, we can hear their gunshots while they're fighting these zombies. Oh yeah, those shots are at school. This guy definitely sees my shots, but let's try to push them. Oh, we got this guy. He's fighting a zombie. All right, we knocked him. Easy, easy. I'm going to try to loot him real quick. Okay, we could totally bait this tyrant. It's one of the last tyrants. Oh, yeah, there's a guy. This is perfect. I don't think he saw me though. Yeah, he's fighting the tyrant. This is so perfect for us. Let's try to see if his teammates are around. Let's put our gun on single shot. I think he's by himself. I think we're going to try to take him out. We should wait for his team though. If he... Oh yeah, there's his team. This is perfect. Is there only two of them? Yeah, now they're both fighting it. Knocked one. Knock both of them. That was sick, dude. That's why you want to bait the tyrant sometimes like that. Because if I would have shot one of them, then the other guy to the left that I didn't see would have would have like yeah. I kind of got kind of got lucky. There. Oh wow, they didn't even do any damage to the tyrant. I'm just gonna leave the tyrant alone. The tyrant helped me with what I needed, which was baiting those guys. And then I just switched my gun to single shot. I got that suppressor. Mmm, that was some good. And there's only seven people left, so there's six people left. Let's try to get all six of them. I don't think I'll be driving around now. 
And that, that boss, I'm, I'm fine with. I'm fine with leaving. Like, the minigun is really good when you... Like, minigun and flamethrower are good against zombies. But... Oh, well, I guess the minigun's also good against vehicles, but... Against other players... Oh, there's a player right there. Got him. He was trying to sneak around. I don't know if he drove that car or not. But the minigun against other players isn't... Minigun and flamethrower, it's just, it's just not that good. So I'm trying to focus. We got to get this dub for you guys. Oh my gosh. I just saw someone that was so creepy, dude. Let's try to chuck his zombie grenade over at that guy. That was so creepy. All I saw was his little head. I was like, where are the last guys? Oh yeah, there they are. There's one super far away. He just fought that zombie. Oh, I see his teammates super far away. You can now jump and chuck grenades. All right, I'm in the safe zone here. They're gonna have to push towards me. There's that guy. Oh, these are some bad shots. For me. That was some bad shots for me. I'm sure it's the rest of his team. Yeah, there's, there's one of his teammates. Alright, there's one left on their team. Where is their last guy? Must be right beyond this hill or something. Let's just boost up. Those are some bad shots right there at the beginning. I got nervous. There's one guy left. That's why I'm nervous. And it's on their team because they got knocked. Oh, what? Oh, wait. Was he in the smoke? I just saw... I think he just died in the smoke. I think he was looking for me in the smoke. And we just got the win right there. I took you through my experience. We ended up getting 78 zombie kills and 13 player kills in zombie mode, which out of 60 players, that's pretty good. All right, so that seemed to go by very fast, very good. That was actually my first game of the day, so that's pretty awesome. It wasn't my best game. If you guys wanna see some of my really good games or you know better games in general, I have a lot of new zombie gameplay on my channel, so link down below. Subscribe to my channel if you guys want to. I post tons of PUBG Mobile stuff and I stream and stuff. If you guys wanna also subscribe to the PUBG Mobile channel or download PUBG Mobile, links will be down below as well. Thank you guys for watching this video. My name is Metalcore. I'll talk to y'all later. See ya.